Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss CSS flex container property. We are going to understand CSS flexbox concept. In this video, we understand CSS flex container related properties. In the next video, we understand CSS flex items related properties guys. Okay, so let's get started. Display flex is used to convert an HTML element into flex container. Display flex is used to convert an HTML element into flex container. Elements inside flex container are considered as flex items and flex items are placed one beside another and they are by default vertically stretched guys. Let's have a demo and understand everything clearly step by step. Here at the desktop I have default.html page. I right click on it say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to CSS properties demo. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page say open with Google Chrome. You can see default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo. Let me go to HTML page. Here inside the body section, I am going to create a div, opening div and closing div. I am going to identify it uniquely by giving an ID of container. Inside this, I am going to create some child divs. I say here opening div and closing div. Inside that, I put the content div1. I copy this and paste 1, 2, 3 times. I say here div2. I say here div3. I say here div4. If I say file, save, Go to browser and reload. You see div1, div2, div3, div4 are displayed one below another because we know that divs are block level tags. What I want, I want these divs should be placed one beside another guys. Let's understand step by step. Here I say opening style tag and closing style tag. Type I set here text or CSS and then I say star opening floor bracket closing floor bracket. I say margin of 0 pixels, padding of 0 pixels and box dash sizing of border dash box. I am telling here select all the HTML elements in this page, remove the margin, remove the padding and box sizing should be border box. Next I say here hash container, hash container should have the border of 2px solid black. If I say file, save go to browser and reload you see the container div has 2px solid black color border next inside the container we have these child divs now i say here hash container inside that we have divs those divs should have border of 2px solid red if i say file save go to browser and reload you can see the inner divs have the red border and divs are getting displayed one below another because they are block level tags. I want to place div1, div2, div3, div4 one beside another. So for that what I do in the container I am going to say display flex. When I say display flex on the container okay on any HTML element it is considered as a flex container and the inner elements are considered as flex items. So that's what I told here. Display flex is used to convert an HTML element into flex container. Elements inside flex container are considered as flex items and flex items are placed one beside another. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, you see div1, div2, div3, div4 are placed one beside another and they are by default vertically stretched. Just to prove that, I am going to set some height to the container. If I say here minimum dash HEIGST height of 100 pixels, if I say file, save, Go to browser and reload. You see div1, div2, div3, div4 are vertically stretched guys. They are by default vertically stretched. Let me remove this minimum height. I say file, save, go to browser and reload. I hope you guys have clearly understood what display flex does. Display flex is a container property. On the container you are going to apply guys. Okay, let's proceed further. Now we understood how to place the elements one beside another using display flex. Next we have justify content property. It is used to horizontally align flex items. It is used to horizontally align flex items. We have justify content with value flex start, center, flex end, space between, space around. Flex start, if I say here, if I say here justify dash content, 
I say flex dash start. Flex dash start means left align. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload. By default, they are aligned left, so no change you can see. If I come here and say justify content center, file, save, go to browser and reload. You can see flex items are center aligned in the container. You can see that. If I come here and say flex flex end, if I say file, save, go to browser and reload, the flex items are placed on the right side. You can see that. So flex start, center, flex end. Next we have we have space between. If I say here space dash b e t w w e n between file save go to browser and reload it adds space between the elements guys justify content space between adds space between the flex items we also have space around a r o u n d around file save go to browser if i reload you see before the div1 after the div4 also you see the space see before div1 we have space after div4 also we have so space around adds space around the element on the left as well as right if I come here and say space between B E T W W E N file save go to browser and reload in between the elements you see space before the due one there is no space after the due four there is no space right so that is about justify content property right used to horizontally align flex items left center right space between space around next we have align items property. It is used to vertically align flex items. It is used to vertically align flex items. To demonstrate, I am going to remove this justify content space between. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload. Here we are. Left side we have the flex items. I am going to set some height to the container. So I say here minimum dash h e i g h t height of 150 pixels. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload. I told you that. Flex items are by default vertically stretched. If I come here and say align dash items, okay, S T R E T C H stretch. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, you don't find any difference because by default flex items are stretched. If I come here and say flex dash start, file, save. If I go browser and say reload, you can see flex items are vertically aligned top vertically aligned top flex start if i say here center file save go to browser and reload they are vertically middle aligned if i say here flex flex end file save go to browser and reload they are vertically placed bottom bottom aligned guys i hope you guys are clearly understanding the align items is used to vertically align the flex items Flex start, flex end, flex center or stretch. By default, stretch is there. File, save, go to browser and reload. They are stretched. You can see that. That is about align items property guys. Next we have flex direction property. Used to arrange flex items in row or column guys. Let me go back and remove these two properties. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload. Back to normal here. If I say here flex dash direction by default it is row if I say file save go to browser and reload you don't find any difference because flex items are placed in row and they are left aligned okay they are left aligned if I say here row dash reverse if I say file save go to browser and reload they are aligned to the right and you see div 1 is on the right side div 1 div 2 div 3 div 4 row reverse this is row reverse guys okay if i say just row they are aligned to the left file save go to browser and reload align left div 1 div 2 div 3 div 4 if you want to place the divs the flex items one below another then you go for column s c o l u m n if i say file save go to browser and reload you see div 1 div 2 div 3 div 4 are placed one below another if i say here column dash reverse file save Go to browser and reload. You see, div four is at the top. Div four, div three, div two, div one. So that is how you will be using flex direction to place the element in row or column. You also have row reverse and column reverse value, guys. I am going to delete it to come back to normal. File, 
save for browser and reload. Next we have flex dash wrap property. Flex dash wrap, we have two values wrap and no wrap. By default it is set to no wrap guys. If I come here, let me copy this and paste here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. And I will set the width for each of these dues. I say width of 25%. Okay. These dues should take 25% width. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload. You can see the dues are not taking 25% width. They are not taking 25% width. You can see that. Why? Because by default flex wrap is set to no wrap guys. No wrap. All the dues are placed in a row only. If you want these dues should take 25% width of the parent then we will be using here flex dash wrap with the value wrap. When you say flex wrap wrap each element takes exactly 25% width of the parent. So first four elements occupy 100%. Automatically these elements are placed on the next row guys. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload. You see div1, div2, div3, div4 in one row. Next div1, div2, div3, div4 in next row. Like that they are wrapped automatically guys. So that is all about flex container related properties. Display flex, justify content, align items, flex direction, flex wrap. All these properties we use on the container. Understanding? In the next video tutorial, we understand the properties related to flex items. Okay, We discuss about flex item related properties guys. I suggest you people to try it yourself, experiment and try to remember all the concepts that we discuss. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be updated, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.